Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna go grocery shopping and I'm gonna show you guys the things that I usually get here at the grocery store. And I also want to make one of the meals that I have been loving lately and I'll show you guys how to make that later on in this video. But yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you click the little subscribe button and the little bell button. Now you guys get notified every time I post a new video. Is it me or like my strawberries have been going rotten? Like I'm talking about with mold within three days of getting them. So I'm no longer getting strawberries because that pisses me off. Blueberries are really good. Um, I saw a podcast that doctors call blueberries brain berries because they're really good for your brain. I love the thick asparagus. I don't like when they're all like thin. I've talked about this a lot, but I always like to shop the perimeter of the grocery store. And I always have a lot of fruits and veggies, and we that's usually what we snack on. So I try not to buy like chips, candy, junk food. I try to stay more like on the healthier side. And for our snacks, like if we get hungry, we'll usually just eat like fruit or you know, carrots, pepino with limon and tajin. So, I'm gonna go through the veggies. I have quite a lot of fruits and quite a lot of veggies. This week's veggies, I have broccolini, bell peppers. I've been really into bell peppers lately. So got broccoli. I talked about this in my last video, but I always, always have jalapenos, tomatoes, and onions in stock. What, I'll always have these. Cause for me, I always put on everything onion and jalapeno. I also like to put a lot of lemon on things, so I got a big bag of lemons. And then I also got these huge apples. I don't know if you guys know, were able to tell when they were in my hand, but they're so big. Like, I feel like they're like the size of my head. And pepino, like I said, when we want a snack, we'll get pepino with limon and tahini, and it is so freaking good. And carrots as well for snacks. And I got bananas for breakfast. Another thing for breakfast I got is blueberries. And I just dropped the blueberries. So yeah, like I said, I always have a lot of fruits and veggies in stock. Another thing I always have a lot of is like meats. So this week I got two packs of the boneless chicken breast. I also got ground turkey and turkey sausage. I, I never get this, but I saw it and I was like, why not? Then I got three bags of tilapia. We have been loving our tilapia lately. Got a pack of eggs, tuna. These are like the ones that are in the little pack. These are really cool when I want something fast, quick and easy after the gym. They're already seasoned, so you can just literally eat them like this. And then I also got some tuna cans. Okay, and now for some carbs. I got the Sarah Delight 45 calorie toast. This is a healthy multi-grain toast. I also got some zesty little saltine crackers for my tuna. Another snack I like to have is rice cakes. And I'll put like peanut butter with bananas and cinnamon, a little bit of honey, and they taste so good. I usually get the chocolate ones. 
but they didn't have the chocolate. So today we got the caramel rice cakes. I have some old fashioned rolled oats. A couple of weeks ago I was like hyper fixated with oatmeal and I was eating oatmeal every day for breakfast. And I really like it, it tastes so good. You put like a little bit of uh, protein powder in there, like a scoop of it. And the protein powder that I use is vanilla ice cream flavored. It tastes so freaking good with some bananas and some cinnamon. Chef's kiss. I got some protein spaghetti pasta. Some Dijon mustard, because I love putting Dijon mustard on my salmon. It, it makes the salmon taste so freaking good. And then I also got this hot sauce for Danny, because you know that guy cannot live without his spicy shit. Wrapping up the grocery haul. I got two of these avocado spray because we only use the spray. We, for some little snacks, I got us these. This is cheese, peanuts, and cranberries. And then this one is cheese and chocolate. So sweet. And then the salty one. I love these. Had to re-up on my probiotics lemon and ginger tea for my morning drink. This is a different brand, but same shit. Probiotics with a lemon and ginger and this one is caffeine free. I got some Cheese because we needed cheese, but I saw that this one is spicy Mexican blend I had never tried the spicy one. So I got this one to try it out We usually get mozzarella cheese, but I figured hey why not try something new this time and speaking of new I was finally able to get my hands on the Kim lemonade Alani new drink because I've been wanting to try this so freaking bad. I got two of these and then I got some of these sparkling ice drinks. This clear one is a lemon lime. I've heard that this one tastes like Sprite. And then this other one is pink grapefruit. I've tried the pink grapefruit one, but I haven't tried the lemon lime one. But these drinks are so freaking good, so I'm excited to have them. Yeah, this concludes my grocery haul. Now, time to cook. It is already nighttime, so I want to show you guys how I make my salmon. I feel like every time I post it, you guys are like, What is the recipe for your salmon? This is a new one that I've been doing, but I feel like I have a little special ingredient that I use for the salmon. So let's get to cooking because I am hungry. Today we are going to be making honey lemon garlic salmon. It is so freaking delicious. So the key is to literally lather it in Dijon mustard. I do it on both sides. Something about it just makes it taste so good and just so you guys know I'm a big mustard lover But Danny is not and he agrees that the Dijon mustard on the salmon just makes it taste so freaking good And then I seasoned it with salt lemon pepper and garlic powder You can do whatever seasonings you like and then I sprayed some avocado spray on the pan and this is on medium to high Heat and I let that cook for like five minutes each side. I like mine extra crispy. And then I went ahead and I minced some garlic with this little tool. I love mincing the garlic like this because cutting the garlic was always just so annoying to me. So when I found this little gadget, I was like, yes, I need that. This recipe calls for a lot of lemon. So the more, the better. It just makes the sauce so good. I went ahead and I cut up some lemons and I squeezed the lemon juice into this other little gadget that I got. I love cute little kitchen gadgets. That's the shit that makes me happy. And then once the salmon is done, you're gonna take that out of the pan. Also spray the pan again. Now you're gonna put in your minced garlic with the lemon juice, stir it around, and then you're gonna add some soy sauce and some honey. I don't measure with measuring cups, I just eyeball it. But this sauce is so freaking good once that's all mixed up you're gonna throw the salmon back in the pan and just kind of like coat the salmon in that little juice that you've got going on there i literally just keep mixing the salmon in the pan and i also squeeze some more lemon on it because i just love everything like very lemony but yeah here's me mixing up the salmon all up in that sauce i want that sauce on all that salmon. Once you're done, I went ahead and I topped it with parsley flakes, just, you know, cause I wanted to be cute and shit. And this is the recipe. And there you go. Honey, garlic, 
salmon and then of course with rice and veggies but today i'm not gonna lie it's late it's already 10 20 and we're barely having our dinner so we're just gonna eat the salmon by itself but usually we would eat it with rice and veggies but we're being lazy right now <sighs> okay guys that is it for this video i'm gonna eat and then get to editing this video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys in next week's video bye guys